my dear sisters and brothers, our calling as Christians is not some sort of secret society. Our calling as Christians is not some sort of uh, hidden mystery. But we are called every day that we may live out the love of God so that the people around us can also experience the love of God. It is God who illumines us. It is God who enlightens us. And He enlightens us in so many ways. By the gift of life, by the gift of this new day, by our experiences, as we always say, every experience is allowed by God either for our own blessing or for our own lesson. But whether the experience is a lesson or a blessing, God enlightens us through all of them. It is God who has placed you as the mother or the father in your family. It is God who allowed you to become a parent. It is God who allows us to become whatever position we occupy, even those who are in politics. There's no coincidence in God. It is God who has allowed everything because whatever he does not allow will never come into existence. If God allows something, it is because he wants to enlighten us. He wants to illumine us. And why does he want to illumine us? That we may illumine and enlighten other people. Jesus tells us today that we are the lights and nobody lights the lamp and puts it under the bushel or under the bed. Rather, you put the light to illumine everywhere. We experience all kinds of darkness in the world. Darkness of sin, darkness of betrayal, darkness of hatred, darkness of addiction, darkness of deception, darkness of anger, darkness of all kinds of toxicities and vices. It is our mission as Christians to enlighten the world filled with all kinds of darkness. It is our mission. As Christians, we are not called to become mediocres. As Christians, we are not called to become people who are living in fear, in the poor. We are called to become active in the world. Everything is going bad because those who are supposed to speak, they are silent. If anyone keeps silence in the face of evil, that person is also an accomplice, as we heard yesterday in the Gospel. So my dear friends in Christ, Jesus reminds us that we are the light. As we heard the first reading and the responsorial psalm, the first reading tells us the things we should do to enlighten the life of those around us. The first reading began by reminding us that generosity is one of those things we should do to enlighten the life of the people around us. Imagine someone who is living in the darkness of loneliness and you were able to show the person some generosity by spending time with that person. Imagine someone who feels abandoned. Imagine someone who feels rejected. Imagine someone who feels that nobody loves or cares for him or her. And you were able to call up the person, visit the person, be present, you know, for that person. Don't you think it's an act of generosity? Generosity is not when we give money alone. Generosity is not when we give material things, para or quarter, hindi po. But generosity is also when we are able to give our time, our talents. You can count treasure also, the three T's. But most importantly, our presence is very, very important. My dear friends in Christ, the responsorial psalm also gives us instances, kindness, Whenever we show kindness, is a way that we give light to those who are living in the darkness of, you know, they, they may have experienced wickedness from people. But anytime you show kindness to someone who may have experienced 
wickedness, don't you think you're bringing light into the person's life? Anytime you are able to tell the truth to someone who is a victim of deception, don't you think you're bringing light into the person's life? Anytime you're able to give hope to someone who is hopeless, to someone who is heartbroken, you are giving light to that person. Every good thing we do, every act of love that we show, we are bringing light into the life of someone who may be experiencing all kinds of darkness. Today is a new opportunity for us to go out there to touch the lives of people positively. As we are seated here in this Mass, it's an opportunity to make a decision, what must I do in this new week? Am I going to give hope to the hopeless? Am I going to show love to those who are experiencing hatred? Will I show kind, you know, kindness to those who have experienced wickedness? To those who are brokenhearted, will I show them love? Jesus reminds us that the more we use our giftedness, the more we are multiplied. The more we show acts of love, the more God increases us. Our mission is to raise people up, not to pull them down. And that's why he says to us, even the things you have, it will be given to you more. But if you don't use it, what happens? It will be removed from you. The best way of keeping what we have is by sharing them. The best way of keeping what we possess is by giving them out. Let us ask the Lord for the courage in this new week to love, to care, and to show acts of kindness. Amen.